said what? I said looking just like your daddy. Goodness. Oh man, everybody said that. I look way better than him. You know what? No comment. <laughs> Y'all got the same face. So how was the fight Saturday? You said what? How was the fight on Saturday? It was uh, good. I uh, enjoyed the experience. Uh, we be right back in the gym Wednesday, and we fighting again in March. Oh, damn. So how many times a year are you trying to fight? Like three or four? I hope I can get to at least eight and no by the end of this year. So okay. Hopefully at least five. Okay. So well, you like how they moving time. you so far? You heard me? Yeah, I heard you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You like how they moving you so far? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, I, I actually moved a little bit fast compared to everybody else with the corona going on. A lot of people ain't really get that many fights. I fought three times last year with the corona. Nice. So now you four and you fight at 126. So tell everybody your name and where you from, for those who don't know. Uh, my name is Rasheem Jefferson. I'm from North Philadelphia, uh, okay. featherweight, and I'm currently a free agent. Okay, also, you look okay. So you're free agent. Your dad fought, and he retired at what 15 1 and 1? Yep, 15 1 and 1. That's a good record. I know him for a while. He was one of the first people I met when I was out like 2014 when I was doing um media. And I remember seeing you. What are you 19 now? Yeah, I'm 19. So when you started boxing, you went pro last year, right? Yeah, I went pro last year when I was 18. Okay, so so far, how's it been? For you. Uh, it's been great. Uh, I actually like the pros way better than the amateurs. And why is that? When we when we fight and they actually let us fight. And the amateurs, mm -hmm. they got like a whole lot of rules. Every tournament, they adding five different rules. It's, it was just too much. And then with the politics and things like that, it was just it was just taking the fun away from the sport. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, how was it going pro? What was the challenges going pro with uh, everything going on with Corona? last year it was just it was just me trying to get a date at first like when everything first started we i had like a seven month layoff all my fights really came from like the end of the year uh so it was like basically trying to get a date and then on top of that a lot of i go through at least like seven or eight opponents a fight because i'm so big for the weight class and and, and and I could really fight on, on the inside and the outside. So on top of me already having trouble to get an opponent, the corona just slowed me down a little bit. But it, I, I, I kind of moved a little bit fast still, though. And you stayed in the gym through all of that? Yep, I definitely stayed in the gym. Everybody say, like, uh, corona, corona was, like, messing them up. I feel like it really helped me because it just gave me more time to get way better, way sharper. Okay. That's dope. So who are some of your people that you um, look up to in Philly? I know it's a lot of y'all, but give me a few. Uh, of course, Tevin Former, uh, Jerron Ennis. Been my big brother since I was a young kid. Uh, Scooter Fullen definitely just got a world title. I, I look up to J-Rock. A lot of people don't A lot of people do respect him, but I respect him a whole lot. He a great fighter. Mm -hmm. When's he back in the ring? I haven't seen him since, um, well, I think, last year. Who, J-Rock? Yeah. Uh, he was just supposed to fight in December, but uh, he caught Corona, I think, him and his opponent. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, so that, that like, pushed his date back. But he should be back in either uh, this month or next month, I think it is. So how old were you when you decided to go to your father and tell him you wanted to box? You just naturally had it in you because of your dad. Uh, when I decided to actually want to box, I was 10 years old. I always was boxing. But I was like more into different sports like basketball and football and things like that. I really wanted to play football. I was I was ten years old when I wanted to go actually compete though. I started asking him. He wasn't gonna let me till I was fifteen because that's when he started fighting. But you know, mm -hmm. when he broke his neck and things like that, I kinda forced it on him. Damn. How was that for you and him, like that transition from him not being able to box and the accident? Uh it wasn't even a part of him not being able to box. It was the part where he wasn't moving around like yeah. he usually do. Because my dad always moved around. He always played basketball with us. He always ran around with us. So when he just was laying in the bed all day, it was like, I was like, no, nah, I ain't used to this. Mm -hmm. And he looked good now. He looked strong. I saw you had a woman in your corner, a cut woman. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Actually, I'm supposed to have her on here tomorrow. So how is that? That's dope. Oh, uh, no, that's definitely dope. Uh. And it's different because I, I, I ain't see I never even seen nobody with a cut woman. So it's I haven't even. She actually she actually good at what she do. Yeah, I saw her wrap her son hands. She nice. 
Yeah, she real good. And she only learning and getting better. Nice. And how'd you come up? How'd you meet her? Uh, her son trained with my dad. Oh, nice. Okay. I, we knew them before, though, because we had a fighter that fought her son a couple times. And we, and we used to go to their gym to spar. So I used to always see her, but we really didn't get to know each other until her son started training with us. Dope. So let me ask you, do you watch boxing today? Today's boxing. Yes, I do. Uh, I, I watch only the fights that come on. I really don't go on YouTube and watch today's boxing. I really don't. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I like, I'm more of an old school type of dude. And who you watch from the old school? Who you like? Who's some of your favorites? Whitaker. Penel Whitaker, he was yeah, he was smooth, man. Definitely was the man. I watch uh I watch uh person I seen too. I watch the old Floyd, I watch Sugar Ray, I watch all the great legends. Everybody watch Pretty Boy, right? <laughs> Everybody, Everybody. Watch Money Mate. <laughs> I watch Money Mate too because he uh he got smarter if you ask yeah. me. He Absolutely. got way smarter. So a lot of people a lot of people say he was better when he was younger. I feel like he was better when he was older. Uh he Much learned smarter. how to he learned how to win the fight without a struggle. Uh, yeah, without doing, without putting too much wear and tear on his body. Absolutely, they on here saying your father still got it. He was a problem. So how does that feel? Like y'all got the same name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I know he was an inspiration to you. Definitely an inspiration to me. Uh, it 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 feel good to me, and it it actually motivates me because everybody be like, oh, you gonna be better than your dad. You gonna be better than your dad, man. Uh, my goal is to do things in the sport that he wasn't able to do because of the accident. So, like, mm -hmm. when I was getting interviewed the other day, like I told the guy, I, I want my dad to experience a world title, multiple world titles with me. Uh, he already experienced world titles with other fighters, but I feel like it'll be different with me because he started me from scratch. The other guys, he just came on and helped them. He started me from scratch, and, of, of course, that's my son. So, I mean, that's my dad. I'm his son, so that it's going to hit him different. Absolutely. And what about your siblings? Any of them box? Uh, my little brother, that's seven, fat boy. He be in the gym every day, man. Uh, me watching him, just like he get in, he come in the gym, he put his little boxing shirts on, he wear all the gear, he shadow box, he hit the bag, and just watching him grow up in the sport, it's like amazing. And so everybody say he gonna be just like me, cause that's the same way I was, but he gonna be way better than me. He already way better than what I was. Me when I was young, I really didn't have. He got he he do so many different moves that I didn't even know about when I was his age. So it's like once he get my age, he gonna be like on a whole nother level. That's so dope. So y'all got that naturally. That's definitely what's up. Yeah, definitely. And, and my other little brother box, but he ain't compete in a couple years. But he just got back in the gym. And how old is he? He's seventeen. He just turned seventeen last Wednesday. Don't you have a sister too? Yeah, I got uh three sisters. Look, we're celebrating box? his birthday right now, man. <laughs> Oh, nice. Like, right, we top really couldn't do nothing because I was in right. training camp. I got you. Okay. And and boots any there, there, box? Eat my food. <laughs> That's Boots? Yeah. <laughs> Tell Boots I said what up. <laughs> there you go. Said, what That's up? dope. Uh, what's going on, Boots? Hey, what's up? You ch what y'all doing out there? <laughs> uh, we chilling. You chilling. Yeah, Are you back time. in the gym? Huh? You back in the gym? Yeah, you know, I've been back in the gym. Okay. Waiting for that fight date? Huh? You waiting for that fight date? No, I got it already. I'm going to post it uh, this week, this Friday. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, good, good. So we get to see that. Okay, cool. You got an opponent? Yeah. All right. So I'll be I'll be on the lookout for that. All right, bet. Thank you. Yeah, this, this boy keeps trying to eat my food. <laughs> uh, so how many y'all out there? Uh, it's, it's about 10 of us. And who, who is your brother's birthday? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, so what's some fights you want to see um this year from any weight class? Uh, Give me like your top three. I definitely want to see. I want to see. I, I want to see Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney because they 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 got like a back. They got like a background. They got like a history mm -hmm. from the amateurs. So I feel like that fight would be crazy. Uh, I want to see. I I want to I want to see Tank versus Tiafimo. Nice. And I want to see Jerron Ennis versus either Earl Spencer or Terrence Bud Crawford. Dope. That's dope. So what's so what can we uh, expect to see from you this year? Uh, uh, this year, I got a couple more six rounders, and then okay. we're gonna go to the eight rounders. Uh, me just getting better in competition, climbing the ranks more and more. So hopefully by 
either the end, I hope I can get a world title by 